hello there beautiful people welcome back to my channel mina here so today is ghana's independence day it's sip march and i'm at home it's a holiday this i'm not going anywhere so i was like okay what can i do to celebrate ghana today and i decided to just sit down and film this look and also i, th I think i just wanted to play with this palette right here that i got it's a new palette for me and i love it it's so colorful it's my first like super colorful palette and i am literally in in love with it to be honest because all the colors pop as you can see on my eyes and i decided to use the colors that represent ghana the reds the yellows the greens i have the green on my lower lash line and i couldn't draw a black star okay i'm not an artist i'm not that good at drawing anything so i decided to play it safe and put the black in my waterline plus the lashes are black so i mean just let's just take it like i've used the Ghanaian colors <laughs> in succession using the red the yellows and the green and also the black yes so this is the look that i have for you guys today and I'll be the first to admit it's not an everyday look it's not a okay I'm going out <laughs> so I'm going to put a bunch of colors on my eyes look this was just a look that I decided to do for fun it was a look that was so much fun to do and I wanted to test my personal creative abilities because I've never used colors like this before I've never used so much color on my eyes before and that's why i love this palette so much because i feel like it's going to give me the opportunity to experiment and play and just bring out maybe my inner artist if there's one in there but yeah this this is the look that i came up with i hope that you guys enjoy watching the video if you guys want to learn how to recreate it even though there's a lot going on i mean with all the yellows and the reds and the greens and the lash and everything i still feel like it came out really good like it came out relatively okay <laughs> so maybe there's somebody out there bold enough to wear this look when they are going out i don't know i can't but maybe, i mean if you can then definitely do this just be you no one should tell you what your makeup should look like that's what you should remember anyways i hope you guys enjoy the video please don't forget to like and comment and subscribe it really helps my channel if you subscribe i mean just subscribe so guys i'm starting off with the wet and wild matte primer i really like this primer because it is so lightweight but yet it keeps my face mattified all throughout the day and it controls the production of oil i'm going to mix my abh stick foundation and my maybelline super stay foundation the only reason why i'm adding the abh stick foundation is because the maybelline super stay foundation in the shade coconut it's a little bit too neutral for me so it gives me this grayish cast sometimes and the redness in the abh foundation helps to balance that so you can see that the combination of both just gives me a natural finish now we're on to the fun part which is this beautiful color drain palette they call the vivid pigments just look at how the shades are so vibrant and they're just popping okay i'm starting off with the yellow shade and i'm going to place that all over my crease i'm going to make sure that this color really stands out and at the end of the video or at the end of the eye look you might not really see the yellow but it helps tremendously in blending all the other shades now i'm going in with the orange shade and i'm placing that directly into my crease a little bit under the yellow shade and i'm just going to keep on blending the two shades together until they look seamless i'm also going to keep adding the orange shade so it can be seen because i really want that to be seen next i'm going to start packing the red shade and a very detailed brush is important for this step so that's why i'm taking that small kind of pointy brush so that i can place the color exactly where i want it because i want this shade a little bit lower than the orange shade and i really really want it to be visible 
so I started by swiping but I realized that that wasn't giving me the color intense that I wanted so I started packing the color on little by little and once I was satisfied with how intense it was looking I started lightly and gently blending it out with that same detailed brush seasons go by all our days turn to night we can't get back the time that we love i'll keep the faith if you promise to it's very necessary to be patient and to take your time with this step you have to go back in with the orange shade and then go back in with the yellow shade trying to get them all to just look as seamless as possible for a look like this, you really want to, to get the shadows to look like they're marrying each other, if that makes sense. You don't want people to see any lines of demarcation. It just adds to the beauty of the entire look. So you have to go back in with all three shades, continuously blending them together until you're satisfied with how deep it is or how blended it is. And then you can move on to the next step. I'm just going to repeat the same steps on the other eye as I did on the first eye. Again, I'm just going to use all three shades in succession. I'll go in with the red, blend it out with the orange, and then blend the orange out with the yellow. I'm just going to keep repeating the steps until I see that that, that eye, sorry, what was that? That eye matches the other eye now moving into cutting my crease and what you see me doing here is looking up so that the concealer would touch the part of my crease that i want the cut crease to end and this is very important to prevent the shadows from transferring throughout the day when you're wearing this eyeshadow look so i'm just going to use the concealer to carve out the shape that i want the shape that i think suits my eye the most and i'm going to use the tips of my finger to blend out the edges of the concealer this is important because you want to blend out the concealer before you put any kind of shadow on it or else it's going to give this very defined mark on your eyelids and that is not cute that is not the look we're going for today i'm just repeating the same step on the other eye so again blending the concealer out with your fingertips is very important and then i'm setting the concealer with some setting powder and if i was going in with a shimmer shade this step wouldn't be completely necessary but because i'm going in with the matte shade i think this step is very important so that the matte shades have powder to stick to i'm just going back in with the red and correcting the line of demarcation the concealer left and then i'm going to go in with the yellow shade and just pack it on my cut crease i want to make sure that this shade is very vibrant and very visible this i think is the main shade of the entire look so i wanted to make sure that i pack it on really well and then i'm going to go in with that orange shade that i used in my crease to blend the red and the yellow together so that they kind of marry each other and you can see a very vivid line of demarcation <laughs> So I'm just going back and forth with all the shades, making sure that everything is well blended. We're done with that part of our eyeshadow look. Now I'm taking my concealer and I'm doing the normal. If you've watched any of my videos, I'm using the same concealer, the ColourPop No Filter Concealer, which is my absolute favorite. I'm using that to conceal all the darkness under my eyes and to you know, just wake the eyes up. And this is very important for a look like this as well. You want your concealer to be flawless. I'm just blending that out. And next, I'm just going to set it again with some translucent setting powder. This is my MAC Patrick Star setting powder. This concealer is just so beautiful, guys. Just look at the difference it makes. I'm taking my GVS Place Saharan Blush Volume 1 palette and I'm going to use that as contour and blush. I'm taking the darker shade for contour and that orange shade next to it for my blush shade. And I love this palette so much. It's a new purchase as well. 
and I haven't regretted getting it at all. Like it's so multi-purpose and so beautiful. I just I can't. You guys know how much I love blush. So whenever I see blush, I just I get so excited because it does something to the face. Okay, you should get into blush if you're not into blush. I'm now contouring my nose. We always want that nose to look snatched AF. Going back in with the palette, I'm taking the two green shades, starting with the deeper green, and I'm packing that on my lower lash line. And I'm going to blend that deeper green with the lighter green to give a more blended, seamless look. If you guys can see a trend in this look, blending is key. You just blend your life away, okay? It took me, I'm not even gonna lie, it took me like 30 minutes to finish just the eyes alone. Not to talk of the rest of the makeup. So I was sitting there for a long while just blending my life away. So if you guys want to recreate it, just make sure you blend it out really, really well. Now I'm using my Mario Badescu setting spray, which again, another fave. I'm going to use to set all that makeup into place and I'm going to use a little bit of mascara before going in with my lashes the lashes I'm using are so beautiful they are the 3d mink hair lashes that you can find on my Instagram page at Mina Beauty GH you can check it out just leave it somewhere in the description box or I'll put it on the screen somewhere now I just use my concealer as lipstick yes guys you can do that I use my concealer as lipstick and then I just put on some gloss on top of it to finish up the look that's it guys I hope you guys subscribe so that you can see more of content like this and I really want to try and create more videos more often I just don't get enough time to do it but I am so happy with how this came out this is my first ever attempt at a very colorful look and i think i i did okay <laughs> what do you guys think just tell me what you think about the look in the comment section down below thank you so much for watching guys and i'll see you in my next video bye hi everyone it's mina and uh happy independence day no <laughs> <laughs>